Anytime you have mixed signs and you're adding them together, you always subtract the numbers. Bigger number minus smaller. So three minus two is one. Forget the negative sign here. Three minus two is one. But you have to then decide on the sign of the answer. The sign of the answer is always going to be the same sign as the larger number, the absolute value of the larger number. So say we take three minus two and we get one. That's the number part of it. The sign of it always goes with the sign of whatever of these two numbers is bigger from an absolute value point of view. This is a positive three, so this answer is a positive one. Now look at the next problem and see if the, the rule works. I tell you, if you're adding mixed signs together, just subtract the numbers all the time. So three, forget about the sign here. Three minus two, three minus one is two. So the number part of the answer is two. Now you have to decide what the sign of this is. And you just choose the sign of whichever one of these is larger. And, and when I say larger, I mean whichever one's bigger absolute value, uh, absolute value. This is negative three, this is positive one. This is a bigger absolute value, so the sign goes to, to negative. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.